All right, in this demo, we are going to look into how to create a setup exe or an MSI file to deploy our application. So we finished uh, working on the application and we want to deploy the application to be able to install on a different machine. All right, so first of all, let me show you my project folder. I have this uh, folder bin debug if i go inside here i can run my application test it if i want to so that's my project folder i'm gonna back up here back to my uh, root of the project and so to be able to create a setup exe we have to make sure we have to we have the extension enabled or installed so to check that we have it, we, go, we are going to go to Tools, Extensions, and Updates, and make sure the Microsoft Visual Studio Installer project is installed on your machine. Okay, if you don't have it, go search and install that before proceeding, all right? Assuming you have that, we're going to continue and click on our solution, right click, add a new project. Okay, since I've done this before, it pops up, but if it gets anything else other than the setup project, just type in setup here, and it will show our setup project. So once you select the setup project, we're going to give it a name. I'm going to give this a name of my WPF calculator. and click OK. It's going to create another project right here. So far, not much in there. So, and let's check our folder and create the folder in here. OK. Um, again, if when you're ready to deploy it, make sure you have the release selected here instead of debug. So, after those checks, we're going to go click on our application folder, right click and add. And from the pop-up menu, we're going to select project output. In this pop-up window, make sure your project name is selected here. If not, try again or select it from the menu, drop down menu and select the primary output and click OK. All right. So right now, let's double check our project uh, solution explorer and it added the files in here dependencies. Okay, if you want to add a desktop shortcut, you can do so here, but I'm just going to skip that part. And if I double check in here, I had the release empty and debug will be empty as well, okay? So, let's, right, right, let's click on our project and solution explorer and right click on our uh, installation project and go to properties. I'm gonna do one or two change here. So, Order, I'm going to leave it alone for now, but uh, you can type in your name if you're deploying it. Uh, manufacturer name. This guy here adds another folder during installation. Let me just type in MFG for now so you can see what I mean. And the rest can be left alone unless you want to type something in as you fit. Okay, so that's that. Now I think I'm pretty much ready. I'm going to um, right click and click build.
Okay, build to succeed it, zero fail. So that's a good sign. And if we go into our release folder, now we have the MSI file and the setup exe file. We can use any of these to install the application in our computer. Let's uh, use this guy and cancel. Just want to show you they both do the same, pretty much the same thing. Set up exe. Um, same thing. So let's let's go next. So here, see the main MFG, the manufacturer tab um, in the properties as an extra folder here. But uh, I personally don't like having an extra folder in there, so I'm just going to remove that folder. And so just right inside program files, I want the application folder. I'm going to click next. Next. This may take a few minutes first time because it's probably going to run a security uh, test on the application. I know it's the first time you try it, it takes a little longer than if you try a second time. Second time definitely goes a lot faster. So just a little heads up there. Um, don't hit cancel, just wait it out and I'll eventually install the application. You're okay. After the security warning, close, and we should be good to go. Our application, I believe, is installed. Let's go ahead and search my WPF calculator. Let me go to this file location. That's not the one, actually. Let me go actually go back here, go to program files. It should be over here. So it's installed. If I run this and my application is installed, we didn't add any shortcut, but if you want, you can do it from here, or during the installation, you can add the shortcut, so on and so forth. There you have it. That's how you create a setup file and an MSI file to deploy your project. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.